on Thursday the 30th, we have the Independence Parade. Probably the biggest and most heralded event for independence. This has come to symbolize what independence is all about for Barbadians. This is where families can watch it on TV or people can go in person to see the armed and unarmed troops. This is where every year people get surprised by the gun salute, although it happens every year. Um, and this year, for a number of reasons, the venue has changed. Traditionally, the Independence Day Parade used to be held at the Garrison Savannah. Over the last couple of years, it has been held at Kensington Oval. Um, but this year, as we are aware, there's a pending series between West Indies and England to be played at Kensington. So Kensington was unavailable for use for the parade because of possible damage to the field. And it also could not accommodate the rehearsals. So we had to look for a new venue. I will tell you the venues that were considered. Um, the default venue was to go back to the Garrison Savannah. But anybody who's passed in the vicinity of the Garrison Savannah over the last couple of weeks or months will see that the Savannah is dug up. There's some construction going on there and some remedial works going on there. So the field is completely unfit to host a parade at this point in time. We went to the other venue, which we have used in a bind, especially when there's a lot of rainfall. We went to the port. But in the area where we would normally have the, the parade, where they were clear for the parade, there were hundreds of containers um, there. <clears throat> and logistically, it would have proved a significant challenge for us. The port undertook that it would have the containers moved for the Independence Day parade. But it could not guarantee that the containers would be moved to be able to have sufficient rehearsals in the space for the parade to come off seamlessly.